Hi. Welcome to Japanese healthy cooking by Ninja. I don't use sugar in my cooking. That's because I'm careful about my family's health. Today, I want to show you how to cook. Kakuteki, Japanese radish, kimchi. In Korean, katteki, 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 kana. I can cook delicious Japanese food without sugar. If you also care about your health, I want to know to make it. And I like to make people laugh. I also like to make jokes. I'm silly ninja, comedian ninja. But I'm serious. I'd like to keep up the world that little down. I want to make more people smile and happy with my YouTube channel. But I'm not good at speaking English, so I'm sorry if I say something rude. If so, please do teach me how to speak English. What's better through this channel? Thank you. Let's get started. Green onions, hot pepper. I grow myself hot pepper. Japanese radish, ninja knife, fish sauce, fish sauce. First, wash the radish with water. Peel. I'm lazy, so I used peel. I'm a lazy ninja. I'm researching healthy food that anyone can easily cook. Cut the radish. Cut into round slices. Ninja cut. Cut into quarter slices. This method is a ninja cut. Put radish in the bowl. Add salt. This is a ninja only tablespoon. And then rub salt. Mix well. Then add one tablespoon of sake. Put the salted radish in a plastic bag. Similarly, rub salt. Doing so, remove the water from the radish. Put the weight on it and store it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And cut the green onion. If you add green onion together, 
it will be more delicious. It's been 30 minutes since I put the radish in the refrigerator. Squeeze the water from the radish. Squeeze as much as possible. If you can squeeze it, put in the bowl. And then threw away more water. Add green onions and mix. And cook the main condiment, chili pepper. These chili peppers were grown by me in hydroponics. I'm a hydroponics expert. Crush the pepper. Of course, I also use seeds. Put in a bowl. Then crush it with the mixer. Shred them. I'm spicy and spicy when I eat and I burn my mouth. But it's irresistibly delicious. After crushing them, put them in the bowl. Then wrap the garlic. Mix well. Then add the secret fish oil, about one teaspoon. If you don't have it, you don't have to put it in. Next, add a tablespoon of soy sauce and mix well. Then put it in a plastic bag and mix more. Remove the air. Double the plastic bag in case the juice leaks. You can eat it if you keep it in the refrigerator for one day. Transfer it to a pickles container and soak it for two days to make it even more delicious. Let's try. Thank you for watching my video to the end. This time too. My video might not be so good, but the taste is top notch. And my dish makes you healthy.
I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, please press the like button and subscribe my channel. It will encourage me to make even more delicious Japanese food. And please comment how you like this dish. Juicy, sweet, spicy, and tasty, etc. It's okay. See you in the next video. Thank you. Have a nice day.